think one of the most common mistakes athletes make is they believe that more breath equals more energy, more breath equals more oxygen coming into their bodies. But the opposite is often true. When you are over breathing and you're breathing through your mouth, you tend to take breath just into the upper part of your lungs. So the majority of the breath you're taking in enters the mouth, enters the throat, enters the bronchi, but it never makes it into the lungs where that air can be uh, exchanged and delivered into the bloodstream. So what you're doing is you're just taking breath in and exhaling it without ever using it. This is not efficient. You're also causing this diaphragm, which sits below the lungs, to move in this very stilted function like this. This is not efficient, especially during states of athletic performance. What you want is to be using less energy so that you can do more. Taking deeper, softer breaths, like this allows you to take fewer breaths and to get more oxygen. That's efficiency and it's so important for athletes. Another mistake that athletes make is that they believe that there's no way they're ever going to be able to get enough air into their noses. For some people that may be true because they could have structural issues, polyps, or a severely deviated septum, but for most of us, what we need to do is just condition our noses the same way we would condition our arms or our legs. Again, this can take several weeks to several months to do, but it can really make a huge effect on your performance and recovery.